Several congressional races on the ballot could be very close this time. Team 12 political insider Bram Resnick asked NBC's Steve Kornacki to break down the races on his big board. Four of our nine congressional districts could be competitive on election night. So how's it looking in districts one, two, four, and six? When you start breaking down uh, the state here, uh, just give you a sense here in the first district, Dave Schweiker, a Republican incumbent. The key here is that Joe Biden, under these lines now, Joe Biden actually would have carried this district by a point. So if a Democratic presidential candidate could win it, Schweiker, a vulnerable Republican, he's hoping, obviously, that there's a national Republican tide that could lift him this year. Take a look at the second district here. Tom Mohaller and the Democratic incumbent. Talk about having your work cut out for you. Nationally, the climate is not great, as we say, for Democrats this year. The district he now has to run in, the second district, Donald Trump, under these lines, carries it by nearly 10 points. That's a lot to overcome if you're an incumbent Democrat. That's what Halloran is trying to achieve. Uh, if you take a look in the fourth district, another Democratic incumbent here who could be in some trouble is Greg Stanton, but he does have the benefit of running in a district, again, that Joe Biden did carry over Donald Trump. So he has much more of a pad, I think, just in terms of the major up of his district. He has much more of a pad than O'Halloran has. And then you get the 6th district here. You've got, look, dead even, open seat, Biden 49, Trump 49, a true swing race, a true swing district. And again, could be a bit of a barometer for how things are shaping up nationally. Well, 12 News is your home for Decision 2022. You can track the candidates, the races, and all the issues right now at 12news.com and on the free 12 News app.